I've endured a lot on this journey, man. And, uh, even now, Satan is trying to attack me. I know that because I can feel, like, when evil spirits attack me, they attack my throat. And, um, I just came back. <laughs> Good God. To the knowledge of the truth. And, uh, gosh, it's just, the warfare is so intense, isn't it? Ugh, been back and forth lately just warring with this, and, um, it's Jesus, man. <laughs> it's Jesus. I feel joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Wow, and they're leaving. I can feel them leaving, saying the name of Jesus. I could see them, like, grabbing my throat and, like, trying to prevent me, and I felt, like, it hard to breathe in my throat. And as I use Jesus' name, I feel it leaving me. Like, they keep trying to take away his name. And I was almost swept away by all these different doctrines out there. Uh, and then another sister came to me, and she had asked the Lord about these extra books out there. And all that stuff, and started talking about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And how God was telling her to just trust him. Not to touch those other books. It's funny because I bought the Apocrypha and I'd been meaning to read it. And it's like something was preventing me. I went through Enoch. I did. I did. And I learned some things for sure. But at the same time, just like the sister is trusting in Jesus Christ, hallelujah. I'm going to decide to trust him as well because I can discern that the word that she gave to her is not just to her. It's to all of his children. It's to us. See, when God speaks to a servant of Jesus Christ, he's also speaking to all of us because we are a part of him. We're all connected to him. Need I say any more? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. He reigns supreme.